Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a uh, quick video where we're going to take a l deeper look into a portion of the Windows Defender antivirus that is where everything is quarantined and I, I have a few questions you know and it, it's questions that come back regularly as a tech guy also with my own clients. So when you double click on the um, antivirus, the Windows Defender antivirus in uh, your taskbar on the bottom right. Uh, if you don't have the, uh, by the way, the anniversary update, you can actually just, you know, search it with type Defender and you will see Windows Defender uh, desktop app. One of the things that you can look at is when you go into the history, uh, you have quarantine items, allowed items, and all detected items. And of course, if you click View Details, you will see, depending on the, uh, you know, options that you've checked, you will see what was detected or quarantined, and what's the difference between both of them. First of all, quarantined item is basically um, a jail. It's like a a jail. It's basically the file that's been dangerous or that was dangerous or that program or that malware that was dangerous was simply put away in basically a closed jail cell basically and it can't escape from there. So the reasons why because one of the questions that comes to mind for a lot of people is why isn't it just deleted is because one of the things that can happen with malware viruses is that sometimes they are attached to a main file in the PC and when you actually remove it you break something in Windows. This I've seen very very many times as a tech guy. So they actually have a first level which is quarantined items to put it away, make sure that it's not damaging your computer or stealing your information or doing its bad thing also, it could be a false positive. Now, antivirus um, software tries to be as good as possible in you know, detecting what's good and what's bad. And it does happen sometimes that because of a code, similar code in a file, that it might say, oh, this is bad and quarantined. It could be simply something that you downloaded from the internet that it deems to be dangerous, but that you use and know how to maybe avoid the pitfalls. For example, when I downloaded Cam Studio to do screen recording, uh, I wanted to put it in the quarantined items because there are sometimes in Cam Studio some, I call it more like adware style programs that are not welcomed. But the thing is, I don't want to have it uh, quarantined because I know how to avoid getting the bad stuff from it. So basically I took it out of quarantine. I don't want it to be quarantined uh, at all. So, you know, I clicked the restore button and I of course installed Cam Studio without having all the bad software that comes with it. But of course, once you also have quarantined item, um, if you do have bad stuff, if you know it is bad stuff, then of course you have all the information about, you know, what's detected the alert level, so here you have different levels of importance of the malware and viruses and of course the date that it was uh, quarantined, you can click on it and you can click remove if you want to remove one in particular or remove all if you have a big list here. And one of the very important things about uh, everything here, uh, detected items and quarantined, uh, if you have a tech guy that comes over and fixes your computer, I often will tell people if you think there's, you know, if you think there's some problems or if you've seen some um, malware or viruses that were detected by Windows Defender, it's a, not a bad idea to leave the detected items in its list. Why? Because a tech guy will check it out. So, for example, if I go to a client and she says, well, I think I've you know, Windows Defender or my antivirus detected something, I will go and check out 
detected items or quarantine items in order to see what was the bad stuff because there are different levels of bad stuff and some of it is bad but it's not destructive it's not going to cause issues in windows but others that i'll see i'll understand why your browser is messed up or why windows is messed up because of the nature of the uh, malware that i've seen in that list so um, if you of course have things that are detected yes you can remove them uh, but think of the quarantine as being a failsafe just in case something goes wrong you can actually restore it back and you know try other actions and of course um, like I said if you have a tech guy going over from time to time it's not a bad idea to just leave the list of detected items so that tech guys can actually see what you were in contact with and you know sometimes it also is something interesting for me because I will check that list of detected items it gives me an idea of what type of person you are with your PC are you somebody that's at risk because you you know do bad stuff are you somebody at risk because you seem to regularly be in contact with some viruses or is this list always empty so you know you're pretty secure with your PC it enables me to have kind of a profile of the person also at the same time so uh, that's pretty much what I have to say about this and of course uh, you know if you've cleaned your PC and everything is alright remove the quarantine stuff and uh, you know you can delete the list of all detected items if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and hope you enjoy our little videos